Hey there. In today's video, experience the beauty of the Horn of Africa's urban landscape. The Horn is comprised of Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, and Djibouti. Here are 10 most beautiful cities of the Horn of Africa. Enjoy and please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe too. Number 10. Lalabella. Lalabella is a town in Ethiopia's northwestern region. It is Ethiopia's holiest city, second only to Aksum, and a major pilgrimage destination for Ethiopians. Unlike Aksum, Lalabella has a nearly entirely Ethiopian Orthodox Christian community. Lalabella was conceived to be a new Jerusalem in reaction to the Muslim conquest of Jerusalem, and many of its ancient structures have names and layouts that are similar to those in Jerusalem. It's famous for its pilgrimage sites for Orthodox Christians, which are Raqqa churches dating from the 12th and 13th centuries. Number 9. Jigjiga. Jigjiga is a city in Ethiopia's Somali region. After being relocated from Gode in 1995, it became the capital of the Somali regional state. The city is 1934 meters above sea level, which is a relatively high altitude. This means that its weather is relatively uh, mild. It is located in the Fafan region. 60 kilometers west of the Somaliland border. The city has a population of 763,000 people, the majority of whom are Somali. Number 8. Burao. Burao is Somaliland's uh, second largest city. On the 18th of May 1991, it was here that Somaliland declared independence. It has a population of 750,000 people. Burao, like other inland towns in Somaliland, has a warm and dry climate all year. Burao has a functioning public transportation system and also uh, Burao Airport serves air transportation needs with Daalo Airlines uh, flights to Hargeisa and other cities in the Horn of Africa as well as international destinations like Addis Ababa and Nairobi. <laughs> Number 7. Mekele. Mekele is the capital of Ethiopia's Tigray region. It is situated 780 kilometers north of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital, at a height of 2254 meters above sea level. Mekele is one of Ethiopia's seven sub-cities which are classified as a special zone by the Ethiopian government. Mekele is northern Ethiopia's economic, cultural, and political center. After Addis Ababa, Duredawa, Adama, and Gonda, it is Ethiopia's fifth largest city. The majority of Mekele's population is reliant on government, employment, industry, and small businesses. Number 6. 
Djibouti city. It is the capital city of the Republic of Djibouti. It has a population of nearly 1 million people. Djibouti city serves a variety of functions as the country's political and financial capital. Owing to conflicting domestic and foreign interests, these functions often overlap. Djibouti's port manages access to the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. It is not only the country's main port, but also one of the largest and busiest seaports in the region. Asmara. Asmara, a booming city of nearly a million citizens, was established in the 12th century by a union of villages trying to defend themselves from bandits. The city has been ruled by numerous empires and countries throughout its history, including the Italian Empire in the late 1800s, the British after World War II, and Ethiopia. The city has its own distinct personality. It's also difficult to walk down a street in Asmara without seeing old Italian structures. It is well known for its pleasant weather. Temperatures seldom rise above a pleasant dry 30 degrees centigrade in the sun, regardless of when you visit. This is because it is located at a high elevation of 2335 meters above sea level. Dar. Bahar Dar is the capital of Ethiopia's Amhara region, and was previously known as West Gajam. Bahar Dar is a special zone in terms of administration. It is one of Ethiopia's most popular tourist destinations, with a range of attractions near Lake Tana and the Blue Nile River. Broad avenues lined with palm trees, and a variety of colorful flowers characterize the area. For addressing the challenges of rapid urbanization, it was awarded the UNESCO Cities for Peace Prize in 2002. It has a population of around 200,000 people. Number 3. Hergeza. It is the capital of Somaliland, a self-declared independent state established in 1960 when the historic British colony of Somaliland united with Italian Somaliland. Hargeza's story is distinct from the rest of Somalia. For one, there has been a relative peace in this city compared to the rest of Somalia since 1991 when the decade-old conflict started. The skyline of Hargeza today is a picture of prosperity and rapid growth as shown by the many colorful, modern, tall buildings. You'd think it would be easy to get lost in this sprawling urban city with a population of 1.2 million, more than eight times the city's population in the 1970s. However, Thanks to the numerous and inexpensive taxis and buses that operate throughout the city, this is not the case. Even so, it is not all casual. Taxis are clearly numbered and metered, and buses run on a daily schedule. Hergesa is a true Somali success story. Number two is Mogadishu. Mogadishu is the capital of Somalia in the Horn of Africa. It is also the country's largest city. It is situated on the Somali Sea's coast in the Banadir region. For centuries, the city has served as a vital port for the area. The city's population is estimated to be between 1.5 and 4 million people. 
From 1991 to 2012, Mogadishu was a major battlefield in the Somali civil war, which ravaged the region. Since then, the city has undergone rapid reconstruction, including the building of brand new international airport, paved highways, new hotels and embassies, all of which were funded by the diaspora Somalis and the international community. Despite the conflict, Mogadishu skyline today is dotted with many modern upcoming and already established skyscrapers. The presence of the beach nearby makes it even more unique, hence the nickname Pearl of the Indian Ocean. <laughs> And finally, number one, we have Addis Ababa. The city is the capital of Ethiopia and the biggest city in the country with a population of 4.7 million people. Because of its geographical, diplomatic and political importance for the continent, Addis Ababa is often referred to as Africa's political capital. Addis Ababa is home to more than 120 diplomatic missions and embassies, making it the center for international diplomacy in Africa. The African Union's headquarters and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa are both located here. In Addis Ababa, the European Union and the United States each have two delegations, one for bilateral relations with Ethiopia and the other for the African Union. Before the founding of modern-day Addis Ababa, the area was known as Finifine in Oromo, which indicates the existence of hot springs. The region was home to several Oromo clans, and Menelik II chose Addis Ababa as the capital of his Shewa kingdom in 1886, and the city was renamed Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa lies at an elevation of 2,355 meters, making it one of Africa's highest and coldest capital cities. The city is very modern, with the hundreds of sky rises that give it a very modern look. It is home to many local and international financial establishments and also a great tourist hub owing to its rich culture. All this combined to make it the most beautiful modern city in the Horn of Africa region. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Yannike, ayannike, anna galudide Yannike, ayannike, anna galudide Yannike, ayannike, anna galudide Yannike, ayannike, anna galudide